it's your girl Danny DMC in the place to be with two baddies. Period. I am with. Hi guys, I'm Nas. Javi. <laughs> my babes. We're so excited to be here today. As you can tell from the title below, these are like my girls, okay? You guys already know Javi. We do this curvy girl answer questions series a lot. And today we are bringing our girl Nas in on this one, which I'm so geeked for. As you can tell from the title below, it's gonna be a juicy one today, okay? Before we get into it, make sure you hit that big juicy red button to subscribe to you below. But I want you to be what? Confident in that decision. So <laughs> make sure you, uh, what? what? Make yeah. sure you, no, hold on, rewind. You gotta watch the whole video. Make sure you watch this entire video. So you can collect your AdSense yeah. and then you can subscribe. <laughs> Period. No, so you can be confident in that decision to join the confidence crew. Forget the AdSense. I need you, okay? Um, so make sure you watch this whole video. It's gonna be a super good one. And we're gonna get right into it. Are you guys ready? I'm so oh, honored to I be know, invited to the Curvy Girl Chats. You this should. So I should be. Honestly, it's so like, excited. it's a very exclusive club. I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and my girls left me. They were in Spain for like yes. a month. What, that's what it felt like. Yeah, Javi was there for a month. Yeah, Literally. Yeah. So. I, I, know. I know. We missed you. We missed you guys. Nas is our bitch. Um, and we have such a cool story, which we're gonna like get into a little bit yeah. in this video. But like I said, as you can tell from the video, today we are doing Curvy Girls Answer Questions about... Plastic, plastic surgery. surgery. Okay. Mm. Hello. I know I can talk about. Said, oh, wait, I have to say it. Yes. Okay, okay, do it again. Do it again. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, retake. Okay. 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 Curvy girls answer questions about plastic, plastic surgery. surgery. <laughs> my hands went up when you guys did this. Okay, one more time. Curvy girls answer questions about plastic surgery. <laughs> my neighbors are probably like, what? <laughs> Going on. <laughs> okay, so we put a question box on my story. You guys came through like you always do. There's so many questions. I'm a little overwhelmed, but it's great. This is a really good topic and I'm excited. We're talking about something that hasn't been talked about before. I, I haven't really seen many videos like this where curvier plus size girls openly talk about plastic surgery, what we've gotten, what we haven't gotten, what we've wanted, what we think about it, all of that. So let's get into it. With Nas being here. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. With my mom. Oh, <laughs> my mom. Coming out. They want to say bye. They're going to Vegas. Oh, yeah, with my Nas mom. has the best pair. All, honestly, all three of us I have know. phenomenal parents. We're really like, lucky. We are. Yeah. Javi and I were just talking about that on the way here. That's why they raise such amazing yes. women. <laughs> shout out to our family. Right, shout out to our mom. Yes. <laughs> we got it from our mom. Yes, we really did. Okay, first question. <laughs> Ready? What are each of your personal thoughts on plastic surgery? Who's kicking it off? Should I kick it off? Yeah. You can. It's your it channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, personal thoughts on plastic surgery. Interesting. There's so many ways I can answer this. I think, um, okay, well, first, always, I believe that everyone should do whatever the fuck they want with their body. It's your body, it's your choice, and I believe that in every capacity. I do think uh, it's hard. There's, it's such a, there's so many fine lines. It's not just black and white. There's a lot of gray area for me because obviously with what I do, I'm trying to get everyone to accept and embrace their bodies the way they are. And I think even before you get surgery, that's really important. If you then decide to get surgery, I fully support you. But I just don't want people, especially young kids, you know, growing up, looking in the mirror, like I hate myself, I hate everything about me, I can do all this to fix my body and then I'll be perfect. Because you're never gonna be perfect. There's no such thing as perfect, even if you get surgery. Like one boob is still gonna be a little bit bigger than the other, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not gonna be, you're never gonna be a Barbie doll or like a doll, you know what I mean? And, and you see people really going too far and hurting themselves or killing themselves or, yeah. you know, going under the knife. So I think that there's a lot of work that needs to be done before, which is where I come into play. Like I really hope that people utilize me and my message and my channel all three of us really um, and you know see that we are confident women embracing and loving our bodies as we were naturally born and then doing things if we want to to enhance but that like align with how we're feeling it's not like oh I hate myself so much so I want to completely change my body that's where like the gray area I feel like is for me a little yeah. bit um, and I also think there's a gray area on sharing and not sharing a part of me is like when people get surgery, I want them to be open about it if they're like, um, you know, a public figure. But then also it's like, why should you have to share what decisions you make in your private life? But then also what if people are want to be like you and then they're aiming for something that you got done and they don't know you got it done. It's just, I don't know. I think there's a lot of like gray areas with that as well, but I am a 
a woman that's always for women. I mean, I'm for all people, but I'm, I'm a woman's woman, okay? I've really become that later in my life. Um, the reason I say later in my life is because I didn't have a lot of women in my life, like growing up besides my family, but now I'm like, love women, <laughs> like all for women. And I just want us to be able to be free. I feel like there's so many constraints around us as women. And I just want us to like all be free and make our own decisions. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I know that was a lot. You pretty much summed it up. Like, I, I basically agree with everything <laughs> yeah, you said. Yeah. I think what you meant about the influencers sharing, it's like, let's say a fitness YouTuber yes. got her butt done and then she's selling a Get big booty program. Yes, like Legally yeah. Bond. You know, know Legally Bond? That, you know, that was her um I can definitely see alibi. how yeah. that's... Yeah. It can get yeah. a little like hypocrit uh, hypocritical. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, it's like muddy water. Also, yeah. adding on to that, like, you know, social media is pretty new. Like, people who got plastic surgery before social media didn't have to make announcements. They didn't yeah. have to say anything. So, like, right now we have people who are just in your life, you know, for the sake of you know, just knowing about you and knowing things about you that normally you wouldn't know about yeah. half the people on this earth. Um, and let's face so it, social also, media is not always a safe place. Like, yeah, social like media not, doesn't not, make you want to tell your deepest, darkest secrets yeah, and know, like we have a great community, yeah. but there's people that come in and infiltrate that community right. and don't make you feel safe and welcome to just like mm -hmm. share your 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 personal life. Yeah. You That's, know it's I mean? a double-edged sword. Like yeah. you're damned if you do. Can damned I say if you don't. Yeah, yeah okay. of course. You're damned yeah. if you do, you're damned if you don't, because yeah. if I do share it, I'm influencing people to go get it. Yeah. I'm putting these thoughts into young girls' heads and I'm influencing them to go get it. But yeah. then if I don't share, I'm, I'm a liar. Yeah, and I'm doing the same, yeah, like I'm you a know? liar and I'm yeah. influencing people. And also, I plastic surgery in general, like I feel pretty like indifferent about it. I think, you know, I've never thought about getting it. One, because just money, period. Um, and also the fact that I've just learned to like what I look like. And if I were younger, I probably would have been like, I want bigger boobs. Like, yeah. I want a smaller nose because those were the insecurities that I had growing up. Um, now that I'm 28, I feel like, I, and I've even thought about it too. Like I'll try to put myself in a position of like, okay, people who go in just to get surgery because they might just want a different look and that's totally fine too. It doesn't have to mean that they're insecure about certain things. And, and then I'm like, okay, what if I went in to like get a smaller nose? And I'm like, but then like, I feel like I wouldn't look like myself. How I've always looked in the mirror, even if I didn't a hundred percent like my nose or like my lips, whatever it may be, I still wouldn't feel like myself. So I think that's what I would battle like internally mm. that I feel like I, that's not me at my essence. Mm. Um, but I, you know, I don't care about what people do with their bodies. Like literally whatever makes you happy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's real. And I feel like that's how we all should be. Like, mm -hmm. we need to live in a less judgmental place. Like, all of us. And I think social media has allowed people to have even more judgment than ever. Because it's like, you have a keyboard, you're behind a screen, you know, or whatever. And you just feel like you can place all these judgments. When really it comes from insecurity in you. Like, I always say, you are not truly confident if you're judging others. Like, I genuinely believe that. You cannot be confident if you are looking down on other people. Pretty much, like, for anything. Yeah. yeah. So, Especially if that's not... The it, that's not that's going to affect you directly yes um and that's messed up but i think it affects people directly because they're not confident so yeah. they're like yeah well if this person can do that and i can't do it then i'm gonna be bitter about it so or speaking of that i hate because i'm i actually have plastic surgery i'm pretty open about a lot of the procedures i get but i hate let's say someone comments on my tiktok she's so pretty yeah mm -hmm. There'll be a comma under it. She it's has her fake. nose done. Yeah. She has her lips done. Yeah. She has this Like done. you can't be beautiful. Like why did that yeah. trigger you? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I think I was beautiful yeah. before yeah. I even not touched been a baddie. Baddie. That's okay. what I'm saying. I think I was beautiful before yeah. the work. And, and so she was on social media before, before the work. Yeah. She had a whole career before the work. Exactly. So again, I do think now that I am older, I did get work done pretty young. So maybe at 28, oh, almost 30, if yeah. I didn't have any work done, maybe I wouldn't have bought anything mm -hmm. done, yeah. you know? But I would be lying if I said I wasn't happy with all the procedures I got. I am mm -hmm. a lot more comfortable and confident yeah. after my surgery. I wish it would that wasn't the case that I had this confidence before. I've always been confident, but for example, before my nose job, if I was sitting like this, I'd be like, I can't turn my head fully to the side. Yeah. So I would have been self-conscious on camera. I'd have yeah. to be facing like this the whole yeah. time. And I hate that I feel like that, but that's just, just the way it is. It's your that's reality. Just, yeah. And I think that's, that's so beautiful was, you know? seeing both sides of that. Like just specifically talking about noses, right? Uh -huh. How in one breath you hear Nas saying like, that was something I had to do for myself because I felt so insecure. Where Javi's saying if she got it done, she wouldn't feel like herself. It's like, 
Nas didn't feel like herself before. Hagi exactly. didn't feel wouldn't feel like herself after. Mm -hmm. So they made the decisions that were right for yeah. them. Yeah, right. And it's like, how can you say one is right and one is wrong? Mm -hmm. it, there, there is no right or wrong. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think. Also, that's... side note, I am pretty scared of like doctors and stuff. So like, I <laughs> yeah. also don't want to submit myself. Yeah, you gotta be so a that. boss to get plastic <laughs> surgery. The older I'm getting, the more I'm fearing it. Nas, yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah, because you're Let's go. Go. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Nas. Nas Fire yeah, I and when you're a fire sign, when you're younger, you're not afraid of, of shit. Anything. Like that's when I did all my, like, got all my tattoos and all my pier. I pierced four of my piercings Crazy. myself, you guys. Crazy. Like, psycho. Yeah. Okay, going into that, let's talk about. Everyone keeps asking what we've gotten done. So, okay, let's all kind of talk about that. I can kick it off if you want. Should okay. I kick it off? Okay, I'll make it faster this time. I'm a talker, you guys. Um, okay, so. <laughs> A lot of people keep asking what you got done um, chin down, but I want to just talk about everything because there's a couple questions I want to get into later that have to do with like Botox and filler. But um, so I've gotten baby Botox like three or four times now, and I've gotten lip filler three times, half a syringe each time. Javi and I have gone together, and then I've gone a couple times by myself. Um, that the first time I did that. It was right before COVID, right? I yeah. want to say two, yeah, end of 2019. Yeah, time. Javi and I got around the same time, but not together. She was in Baltimore. Yeah. 2019. Um, and Nas had been telling me, like, just do it. Just I've been thinking about it, it for like, years. Just do it. Um, for me, I've always had juicy lips. Check the baby photos. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but even so if, no, but even if even if you don't have juicy lips like that. That doesn't mean anything, but for me, I already had like pretty juicy lips and I just wanted a little like extra mm. Mm -hmm. Um, The last time I got it done was like January and now I only do it like maybe once a year. Um, if that, I feel like my lips have like held up really good and they look like normal, but like I just have more like, um, like border definition. maybe, yeah, yeah, like more definition. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I love the baby Botox. Honestly, I don't see a huge difference. Like a big thing we're going to talk about a little later too is Botox really does not change how you look. The like day of it might because yeah. you know your face is tight. But the biggest thing it's done for me is um, in my family, smile lines run really bad. Like when you smile, you get like those little lines right here and it takes that away from me. And that's definitely preventative because luckily I don't have wrinkles there yet, but I would if I didn't do baby Botox probably. I'm 30. I just turned 30. You guys don't know. <laughs> dirty 30. Dirty 30. Um, Okay, then besides that, I don't I don't have any plastic surgery, but I do want to share that I've shared a lot with you guys before. I got gastric sleeve surgery in summer of 2016, long time before I was um, an influencer or a model. But after you get that surgery, you get a lot of loose skin, hence why I have a lot of loose skin in my arms, my lower stomach, my inner thighs. And like, it is like tied together. When you get gastric sleeve, you get uh, plastic surgery. Like every, I literally, I am one of like very few people who have not gotten plastic surgery. The most common are tummy tuck, breast lift, um, like the lipo in your thighs. Thigh lift. Yeah, thigh lift. The scar's crazy for that. Yeah, I mean, arm, your arms, which yeah. is the scar. It, this yeah. is supposed to be one of the most painful yeah. plastic surgeries. Um, so when I first moved to LA, I was like, okay, I think that's like my next step. Cause I was following all these people on their gastric sleeve journey before I was an influencer. Um, and they were all doing that. So I went to see like some of the Kardashians doctors, like some of the top plastic surgeons in Beverly Hills. One in particular, I went, made a consultation. My mom came with me and I remember I derobed and he drew all over my body and I looked in the mirror and I was like, I am perfect. Why are you drawing all over my body? Like I got so upset. Like he had all these lines and was explaining like he wanted to make my body look like it was like a Kardashian a or an LA girl. Like he was like, well, if you do a tummy tuck, you need to go all the way around because you have fat in your back. And he told me one of my boobs like didn't fully develop because I'm like an A or B cup. And he was what? like, so you need to do at least like a C or D. And he, there was just drawing all over my body. And I remember I left that day and I looked at my mom and I was like, I'm never getting plastic surgery. Like this is not that's for a, me. That's intense. Yeah, yeah that's it, lot, it was yeah. intense. And just cause the, like the way doctors look at it after gastric sleep, there's so much to do. It's almost like a mommy makeover yeah. because mm -hmm. you've lost like all this weight, like so rapidly too. Um, and so for me, I don't think plastic surgery is, it, it's just not, I don't think it's for me. Um, but like I said, I support people that get it. I think my relationship with Nas, which we'll touch on a little bit later too, has like really opened my eyes and transformed my views on plastic surgery even more. My button came undone. <laughs> I wonder how long ago that Um but I feel like I, I had a couple friends in college that got BBLs, but besides that, I never really had friends that had plastic surgery. Um, and so my relationship with Nas like really opened my eyes to what it looks like to be a confident woman, loving, actively loving yourself and making the, the intentional decision to get surgery, like what those look like together. So mm -hmm. with that being said, I'll pass to you. <laughs> well, y'all got time for this? Yeah, okay. So I guess I'll start from the top. I do have my lips done. I have my nose done. 
Um, other lips around. are not plastic surgery, but you I have know, honestly, that's why people make a big deal about lips. Like you're yeah. making a big deal. I'm like, to me, lips is just like, yeah. It dissolves, you know. Yeah, just, yeah. and it's, it's not, not a surgery. surgery. It's not a yeah, like even yeah. my even my mom gets her lips done. My mom doesn't do nothing. Yeah. So I'm just like, who cares about lips? I have Botox, which speaking of, I need to like get a little. Yeah, but Botox <laughs> makes me break out. I swear, I get oh, really? zits where I. I think you told me that. Yeah, my before. forehead after Botox is all acne. But anyways, um, I got a breast reduction and lift when I was 19, 20, which was such a great procedure. Yeah. Um, I did fat transfer, BBL as well, um, and that includes lipo. Is that it? I yeah. feel like I have more. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's about it. So I am planning on getting surgery now again after having three kids. So I got all that done before I had kids. So I am yes. planning on going back in and just like tightening everything up. But I have been just like losing weight naturally. So I'm like, maybe I don't need to get lipo again. Mm -hmm. I might just do the breast lift again. Yeah. But I need my I lift. know the breast lift changed. Big like, boobs. Yeah. You, don't, you don't know what it's I know. like, girl. I don't. I don't. Big I've boobs. I've had a couple girls get tell um, breast reductions. I always I, yeah. tell you, I'm so yeah. jealous. Like, yeah. big boobs just get in the way of so much back pain. Yeah. Like, if I was wearing this right now, like, it looks so cute on you. I would look... Like, like um like uh like too sexy yeah, or like yeah you know, it just like a even, rabbit it's yeah, like yeah. <laughs> so yeah I definitely want to get my breast reduction and lift I can relate to that because I feel like when I walk down the street guys are like at my butt no matter what I wear like right. if, if I wear something loose it's not as bad but tight jeans oh my god it's over and it's the same for Nas if she wore something like this guys are gonna be like breaking their necks yeah it's so annoying yeah. okay your turn Javi has a really long list it's very <laughs> underwhelming <laughs> over here no um I have a jaw botox I have. Uh, bruxism, which is when you like grind and clench your jaw and like you grind your teeth and it happens to me when I get really stressed, nervous, whatever, anything of that matter. I like literally clench my jaw so hard. So Botox just relaxes muscles. Mm -hmm. That's like the easiest way to think about it. I feel like a lot of people can confuse between uh, filler and Botox. So that's what they were saying that it doesn't change your or affect your face. So it's relaxing my master muscle, which is what your jaw uses to, you know, all the strength. So even to chew, like I chew my fucking food, <laughs> like I am like especially she's a carnivore meat. yeah, yeah she's a carnivore. anything you know like chewy and hard like i chew the hell out of it it was very like big yeah it like it was like a little like it was you could see the, the you can see like how much obviously everyone has that muscle but um when we went to go get it done and because i was inquiring about it, i wasn't sure yet she was like oh you really need it because she touched it in her she literally went like this yeah um, and then and she did it so to me. Now, yeah, and then she just did it. I was like, wait, I barely was like noticeable. Yeah. So I was like, oh, oh so I must really. Need I clenched my okay. teeth. Yeah, but you're, you would see it. Oh, yours is I definitely do, tighter than mine. Clench, I clenched my teeth. Yeah, like that. but then also our, um, our girl who like does her. Liana, uh, shout out to Liana. Yeah, we love her. Yeah, she's amazing. she's very natural as well. Very. Like, I'll put her info in the description box too if you guys are in. Um, yeah, in she's very or. conservative with like how she injects, which I love because I don't want like. She's very natural. Know. Yeah. She told me that she won't do that uh, procedure because because it slims down that muscle, it might look a little too weird for people who already have a very slim face. Yeah. So I, I already, you know, have my chubby cheeks and stuff, so it kind of just looks fine, and it doesn't look like, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, so that tends to happen in case you were wondering about that. <laughs> um, but I also have lip filler, and like Danny said, I got it done a few years ago, and I had like literally no top lip, no top lip, even when I was talking. Like you can see in my previous videos too. And I just really want to have a top lip, so that's <laughs> yeah, right. really all that it is. Yeah. And so people who already have thin lips, like not everybody can carry the amount yeah. of filler on your face it can really weigh it down it can look crazy that's how you, you end up with duck lips and then like yes. the filler will migrate like it looks crazy so honestly literally learn to love the lip shape that you have you can enhance and you can add a little bit more but i'm never gonna have like the juicy lips that they have because it just doesn't make sense for my face and i've never wanted them because i already knew what would look insane <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. that's kind of how I think how I think about Your lips these look so good. Yeah. They're so nice. Like, yeah, I feel like they don't perfect. I feel like a lot of people yeah. don't, can't even tell that I have it yeah. unless they're like a person who does, you know, things. Um, <laughs> who does things. And uh I've always had like a I had like a meteor bottom lip, so I feel like it just evened it out a little bit and I'm pretty happy with it. Period. Amen. Yay. Look at us. What should you do if you don't want to get plastic surgery but you don't like how you look? Don't get it. Right. Don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> if Honestly. you know you don't want plastic surgery, I think the best 
even if you do want plastic surgery, the best thing to do is start with healing yourself and loving yourself in this exact moment. That's something we're not taught enough. Whether you want to lose weight, whether you want to gain weight, whether you want plastic surgery, whether you don't want plastic surgery, the best thing you can do for yourself is work on the relationship with yourself, how you talk to yourself, set internal boundaries, and take care of you because no one in the world is going to treat you better than you treat yourself. That's like a given. And sometimes no one treats you worse than you treat yourself. So mm -hmm. it's There's like important to take care of yourself. you have to like accept, you know, like for yeah. example, I would love that like like really circular cleavage line, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? But I know I don't want implants. Yeah. That is just one thing. I'm like, yeah, I get work done and stuff, but I do not want breast implants. Yeah. So I've accepted I'm never gonna have that look. Yeah. You can always you know? contour. It is. Exactly. <laughs> and you could harp on that and be like, every time you look in the mirror, damn, yeah. I want that look, I want that look, I want that look. But right. you're not gonna do that because you choose to set a boundary with yourself and appreciate yourself when you're in the mirror and you have exactly. that time with yourself. Yeah. I think that's a big like differentiator. Uh -huh. And I feel like you're always gonna, like if you have that mentality, you're always gonna find something that you're just not gonna be happy with. Yeah. So when you start changing things, Things, you can't go back to like the original figure exactly. that you had. Yeah. So it's better to stay, you know, in that natural state and just think about it, you yeah. know, journal about Don't it. Don't do it until you're a hundred percent sure you've done all the yeah. research. Yeah. Never get something on done. Oh, That's okay. Don't yeah. get th something done if you're not a hundred percent sure about it. You're going to regret it. Yeah. And touching on that, once you start getting work done, like let's say you got your lips done, you're like, you know what look good with my lips? A sharper chin. <laughs> you know what look good with my yeah, sharper it can chin? Be, it's like tattoos. It can be nose. like, so wow. Well, yeah. It can snowball, so you have to like stop yourself. Literally. <laughs> no, it can be, it's like tattoos, piercings for me. Yeah. Like, once you get one, you want another. And once you yeah. want another, you, you want to start getting comfortable. Yeah. yeah. And surgery like, is not perfect, you guys. Yes. I have so many friends, like, even me, like, I have some, you know, imperfections yes. in my nose, even though, like, I got it done. Like, there's still going to be imperfections. Yeah. But you have to just kind of make peace with it, you yeah. know? Yeah. Just like you have to make peace with, with your, your body, body the way it is without right? surgery. We're not Barbie dolls. Literally, my mom tells me that. Yes. She's like, you're not yeah. a Barbie doll. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and we are organic figures. Yes. Yeah, like things will be imperfect. I remember getting on Danny because Danny wanted the most perfect tattoo, right? And she was like, but my arm, like it bends. It's an arm. She it goes, Danny, your arm is in paper. I was like, yeah, I was like, you're not a fucking piece of paper. You're not like, if we are tattooing pretty fucking like, perfect. Uh, biologic uh, creatures. Uh, like uh, we are uh, gonna uh, bend. It's not, yeah. bend. no, literally yeah. like, I'm more, I'm definitely more gentle with myself the older I get. Yeah. And also just as a society, I feel like we've kind of shifted and we have, people to look up to now of all shapes and sizes. Yes. There isn't Which just is like a one. So important. I know my sister talks about it all the time because she grew up in the like early yes. 2000s. Yeah. And she was well, like and, tall. And sister are the same age. Yeah, so she's like tall, skinny, Paris Hilton, that was the look. And yes. if you weren't that, you weren't attractive. Yeah. But now we have great like plus size models yeah. and models of all different backgrounds and ethnicities. I know we can argue that social media did have its negative effects, but in my opinion, I do think it is that does have a lot of positive effects as yeah. well. Like look at Savage X Fenty, for example. Yeah, absolutely. Look at all these makeup brands that now have all these huge shade ranges. We yeah. didn't have that growing yeah. up. Yeah, no, 100%. So There's so right. many changes that are being made. There's always so many more to be made, but we've come so far. And like, I do feel like there are definitely a lot of negative effects of social media, but for every negative, there's a positive. And that's why it's so important who you follow. You're in control of that. You're Literally. in control of like who you follow, who you don't. You know what I mean? When we were kids, we were seeing Paris Hilton on magazines like, all in our face. You didn't have a choice of like what magazine is popping up on the shelf. Now it's like this device in your hand. You have control exactly. of. You can block people. You can you can control who texts you, who calls you, who messages you, who comments on you your have photos. You to take responsibility. Yeah. You know, because for example, when I was pregnant, my entire for you page, my entire explore page was all like pregnancy, breastfeeding, yes. newborn. Now that I'm on like my weight loss journey and I'm working out, it's all health, fitness, it's, yeah, health, fitness, and these girls with their perfect bodies again yeah. i'm responsible for that yeah. because i'm the one liking those she videos. also I'm follows like, danny dmc right so exactly. she gets a daily dose exactly. you know? <laughs> but see i'm the one who's liking those videos yes. i'm the one who's engaging so, yeah. with those yeah. videos so i'm favoriting those videos yeah. yeah so again it's like if those pictures are bothering you if, I, if following me makes you feel bad about yourself yeah. unfollow me yeah please. same all three of us yeah. feel that way for, I, I know without a doubt if you ever feel any type of way like i feel like all of us have such good intention with what right. we do and i'm gonna be honest with you guys living in la meeting so many other people in our industry that is a Rarity. Like, yeah. it's just the fact is not everyone is a good person. Not everyone has good intentions on social media, even if maybe they seem like they do. And I just want you guys to always know you can, I don't care if a plane's going by, I'm on my high horse. I want you guys to always know that you can trust me, you can 
you can lock in with me, you can be safe with me, and anyone that comes around me, anyone that is around me aligns with my morals and values. We all think the same, we all have the same heart, the same intention, and I think that's so important. Just like your friend group who you keep around you, you need to do that on social media as well. And the thing I love about my friend group, we all, I'm sitting next to two friends that are immigrants, okay, that came from different countries, have completely different cult cultural backgrounds to me. We all have different beliefs. Okay. Aw, there you go. She's, oh, she's Italian. She's such, such a generation. She's such, such an immigrant. immigrant. She's such an immigrant. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not. I'm third generation, so like, <laughs> definitely not. But um, I'm so proud to have such strong women of all different backgrounds. That brings we all bring such different perspectives, but we align like with our morals and values. So I think that's important on social media and in your real life. You know, speaking of culture, I think it was also just kind of funny to me and my family how big of a deal people make surgery here because where I'm from, Iran, is the nose job capital really? of. The, the girl, world. okay. <laughs> Everybody, yeah. it's like normal to see a 16 year old girl getting yeah. her nose done. No, yeah. I met I met you this know? girl, a really good friend of mine, Alyssa, rest in peace, my friend Alyssa, she passed away, oh, but she um, was Jewish, we went to high school together, and she got a nose job before I even, we met when I was 15, and she had a nose job, and she, and she amazing nose, like her nose was, it, it wasn't like, she didn't do too much, it was like perfect, mm -hmm. and um, she was like, oh yeah, like for our sweet 16s, we get, no, like we're Jewish, right. we get nose jobs, yeah. that's like a thing in our family, I always thought I was, I she was so loud and proud about it. Like, look at my nose. Like, she was just so. Yeah. Oh, I, I love her. I have, her yeah, I, I was have, gonna say it. It's like cultural. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know in South America we have, we have so many like different like um, societal norms. I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, South like, America, the Brazilian butt lift. Even yeah. here, wearing a waist train or faja is so taboo. And I'm like, in my country, like women uh -huh. are told after giving birth, like wear uh -huh. com uh -huh. yeah. wear yeah. compression. Like compression. You know, thing, it's just yeah. again a huge cultural difference too. And I have, like for example, I have aunts that don't have a lick of social media who have plastic surgery. Yeah. You know, I hate when they say it's because of social media you get plastic yeah. surgery. I'm like, I no. literally have family members. That's not true. You guys, plastic, plastic surgery's been going, going on for a Dude, our growing lives. up, probably one of the moms in your neighborhood had her boobs and I had no idea. Yeah. You know, like this has been going plastic on for years. Plastic surgery's always been a thing. A thing. Like forever you know? and ever, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like, let's talk about it. Let's be open about yes. it so people don't go to chop shops. Yes. Literally, they go to surgeries. Columbia. Strip yeah. Like, you'll see an ad, like, $3,000 boob yes. job. Like, don't you think there's something wrong yeah. with that? I had a friend that got a BBL out of the country, and she had some serious issues. Right. That is not the thing that you go budget shopping yes. for. When it yeah. comes to your body, yes. yeah. you read don't reviews. Yeah. You Word of mouth. You go on mm -hmm. things like Reddit, Real Self, and you read about those surgeons. Because, yeah. again, it's really scary. It's your body. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We got a lot of questions about cost of things. We're not going to really get into numbers, especially because, you guys, we are influencers. So we do get discounts and things like that. Also, it's, you know, finances are personal. But I think what Nas just touched on is really important. Do your research. This is not something you should be skimming on. It shouldn't be cheap. When I went to that office and got all that consultation, whatever the fuck that was, it was a lot of fucking money, yeah. okay? That's another reason I didn't take it lightly. I know, yeah. he was probably like an arm and a leg. Yeah, oh my God, yeah. literally. Like we're talking over six figures yeah. for sure, like no question, for oh. everything. He um, did Kris Jenner's facelift oh, yeah. on the show. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. No, I knew him from the Kardashians. My, yeah. You guys, my boobs really want to come out of the no, Surgery is like cars, you can get yeah, surgery for some couple thousand, and you can literally go up to a hundred k. This one doctor that does like this like cat eye brow lift, I forgot like what it's called. Hadid. Yeah, so he's really popular. It's like Doctor Koi or whatever. One of my friends did a consultation, hundred thousand dollars. That's crazy. You guys, my whole body was gonna be a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, that's, that's that's pretty normal for Beverly yeah. Hills. Beverly Hills yeah. is always gonna no, be No, for sure. Expensive. Yeah, when you're in that 90210 yeah. area code, it's gonna, I mean, zip code area. Yeah, it depends on location, it depends on all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah wow. but just know, like, it's not supposed to be inexpensive. Right. So, just like Nas said, if you get something cheaper, just like a car, your car might run down in three years. You right. know, it might break down, you might have to get a new car. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, and obviously, we're. Uh, another thing I want to touch on really quick that Nas was talking about is like these trends too, right? When we were growing up, it was Paris Hilton. As we got older, it was so funny because, not funny, annoying. When I was a kid, I got made fun of for having a big butt all the time. Dump truck, wide load, even my mom. My mom is very skinny, you oh guys see, God. but she has the same body Literally. shape as me. Yeah, my mom's body shape is stupid. Uh -huh. um, but she's like a, a size six. She's, she's small, but when she was in high school, people would call her wide load, like a truck or something, because of her butt. Because straight, straight up and down was in them. Then when I was growing up, like later in high school, Kim Kardashian and the BBL started coming and now everyone wants this fat ass that I have, but they don't want the tummy that comes with it, or they don't want the cellulite that comes with it. Um, 
And I struggled with that a lot. And I think it's important to not, now you see all these people getting their BBLs removed or Black China getting all, everything on her face removed and whatever. It's like, you have to be wary of doing things just because people are doing them. You have to have that moment with yourself and decide this is what I wanna do for myself, no matter what is trending and what's the fad right now. Cause all trends are gonna go away. Right. Okay, next question. Um, we're only gonna do a couple more cause obviously we've been like just chatting away, but I feel like this is all really good information. Mm -hmm. This is such an important conversation. Okay, next question is what is going too far? I think that's up to you to decide. I'll you know. say something that's too far. <laughs> Rib removal. Yeah. Oh. That's doing a you lot. You know, I don't know how many procedures I do, so <laughs> yeah. honestly, I don't no, know. No, literally, you can yeah. get like your, your ribs, ribs removed. to make I your waist smaller. smaller. Yeah. I think that, even for me, where I'm like, do whatever you want, y'all, yeah. I'm like, let's let's talk about it. Yeah. Right? Let's, let's, yeah. I think let's talk the brakes. <laughs> I feel like anything that is going to physically harm you mm -hmm. and your like health, your your long term health is going too far. Like stuff under the table. Your, yeah, like getting like, your ribs removed. Yeah, or like, like silicone. you're supposed to have all your ribs. Like I know, like or like silicone like butt injections. Like people won't yeah. go do oh, their yeah. butt injections. Yeah, like, 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 yeah. 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 It's not for us to say what's going too far because yeah. it, it, like Javi said, it's like yeah. it's up to you to it, decide. Like, that. In like a safe, you know, in the safe side of things. Yeah. That's up to you. Like yeah. whatever you want done that you think obviously you won't die from. Yeah. Um but yeah, obviously there's those instances where it's like, all right, like, do we really, know, like yeah. that's some really deep rooted yes. like, insecurity that, yeah. that needs to be taken care of before you even decide to do To anything. me, that's kind of like what's going too far is if you're doing something with the intention of being someone other than yourself, which like a part of that I know kind of is plastic surgery. Obviously you're trying to change something, but like that um, lady that was just all over social media that um, was trying to look like Kim Kardashian, she died. Oh, yeah. It's like That's you crazy. you see these what? people that obviously take it too far mm -hmm. and they get 700 surgeries and they're like both their ribs are gone and at like at that point it's like an addiction yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. yeah so to me that's like yeah. anything that's going to jeopardize you and your your health and your livelihood like being alive and breathing air is too far yeah a lot of doctors are ethical though if yeah you're going to they're going to yeah. tell you i need you to go to a yeah, psychologist like, and get evaluated like, before you come to me yeah yes. i'm always wondering like where like who are the doctors that are allowing like these people to get these like psycho crazy procedures it's like that's, overseas. that's really scary yeah because america has really strict regulations and rules so that's mm -hmm. why people go overseas because oh, really? they get the more dramatic yes. results but why is it also dramatic yeah. because they don't have in america there's a certain limit of fat they could take out of you yeah. during a liposuction round mm -hmm. that's why in america you'll see girls be like i have to go two rounds of lipo three rounds yeah. of lipo but overseas they'll do that all one time yeah and then you wonder why people pass away like yeah. and also they go take into far. account like the recovery of everything like I'm, a lot of doctors won't let you get multiple things at once. Like you can only yeah. get a certain amount in yeah. America. Like you could get your boobs and lipo, but yeah. sometimes they won't do your boobs, butt, arms, thighs, yeah. all at the same time. Where pe people overseas will do that yeah. shit. Right. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, but I'm I'm a person who hates pain, and like yeah, obviously I have <laughs> tattoos, but it's a different kind of pain, and it's actually it feels really good. <laughs> so anyway, um, I would hate like for, even if I did want surgery so so bad just the the recovery and like all mm. you have to do to even keep it up like yeah. girls who have bbls they always say exactly. you have to keep working out and stuff you yeah. have to actually maintain what because that can grow back so i will say i on. hate that stigma if you're someone who does have a bbl and then let's say you're working out and you post on instagram or your story yeah. it's like why are you trying to act like you don't have a bbl right. blah, blah, blah. it's like so am i not allowed to work out right like, like, now you just yeah. like chill and don't do anything yeah. like you have to when you get light, your fat can grow back in yeah. all different they types think, of areas. They think that a BBL is like an end all be all. Once you get it done, you're set for life. Like, no, girl. I gained 30 pounds after my BBL. Yeah. You can still gain weight, you can still yeah. gain fat. Like, you have to maintain those yeah. results. Your body and then, still acts the way it's supposed to yeah, after exactly. the surgery. It's not and then, a one and done. Exactly. And then I also hate how it almost feels like once you are open that you have procedures. You almost feel like you have to make a disclaimer every time you post something. Yeah. I and that's that. not fair. I yeah. hate that. Again, we're, we're controlling women's bodies. We're dictating exactly. what mm -hmm. women's bodies get to do and not do. And I hate that. Honestly, it really bothers me how much hate Nas gets and I get really angry about it. Because like- I was so used to it at this yeah. point. I know, but it's just I like- Because it's like, I'm such a good person too. I know. Yeah. I, I love my Nas. <laughs> I know. I Don't be mean to her. I know. I <laughs> Out of all the she's people like the she's best. Best. You guys don't so even know open. how good 
of a person. Literally, she and is. even like people when they come up and ask me, like people have asked me in person, like, do you have BBL? Mm -hmm. Like, be honest, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Do you want my surgeon? Like, yeah. you know, it's not a secret. But to also, me. that is kind of rude to like just come up to someone. I know. Yeah. Like, but like, but that's the thing. That's like the type of person that Nas is. Like, yeah, she's, she's not gonna yeah. lie to yeah. you. Yeah. So it's like out of all the people, you're gonna get mad at her. Yeah. I know. Like it's this cashier, Azari, she was like, I love your nose. I'm like, thanks. I got it done a few years ago. Yeah. Nas always. Literally, the first time I met Nas, you said something about your nose. Like, are you showing? Sure she showed me pictures of her with like the black eyes and everything. And I was like, I fuck with this girl. Like this girl is dope. Yeah. Like I just, you can't, yeah. If I've learned again, I've been on social media for so many years. I've learned that the more open you are, the more people can't hold stuff. Over yes. You. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah. I hate when people have power over me like that. So yeah. I'm like, I'd rather just be open. Yeah. yeah. You know, I do get comments about not sharing my BBL when I got it done, but people don't realize when I got it done, it was still kind of new. Yeah. So I did kind of fear sharing it just because I just got my breast lift and I got my nose done. Yeah. So I knew people would give me a hard time. Yeah. And I knew I'd eventually open up about it, but I never, ever, ever, ever denied it. Yeah. You know, when people ask, I just didn't really talk about or draw attention. Yeah. Which again, Which, that's your again I know. It's like, like looking back on one. it, I know that could look like I was trying to hide some things, but again, people need to realize the time that I got it done, it wasn't as trendy as it is yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And I knew people would give me a hard time. And I was so young. Yeah. I was like, I was just turning 20. Yeah. So I just knew people would be annoyed about it and I'm like let me I think I'm ready to open up about yeah. it now and do a video about it sometimes you have to so, protect yourself exactly like, even for someone that was bullied my whole childhood I feel like I can relate to that because I'm so grateful now that nothing anyone says online really gets to me because I was bullied so bad but like it, what's happening is a form of bullying. You're, you're tearing somebody down or exactly. commenting on someone's appearance or and a lot of what we go through their personal experiences and one way we can control our safe space is by not sharing sometimes and choosing to be like, you know what, I'm gonna keep this to myself and when I'm ready, I'll share this with my audience. That's a way you take care of yourself. Right. So like, that's why I was saying it's a gray area. It's a fine line, it's not black and white. And yeah. I think that's important. Also like owning up to it and you know, like Nala says she's very forward about it. it. It's a different type of confidence as well because you're also dealing with the comments that you get back. Like also, are you like, do you want your kids to get a surgery? Yeah. And like, how would you feel how like this and that? Like, yeah. I know, so it's but like- But if your daughter gets your natural Don't nose, talk like, about my niece. I know, I'm like, first of all, she got her, her ZZ's nose. Yeah, <laughs> she does. Yeah. So I think <laughs> no. that's also like an added layer of like, why you should probably wait to heal your inner self as yeah. well, because you are gonna get people's opinions about yes. it. You are gonna have back Whether you share or you don't. Whatever. Yeah. Exactly, so it's like, you need a, a different type of confidence to even deal with that in the first place and not having it affect you. So yeah. I commend you. Oh, yeah, okay. we love you. I also just think it's crazy that it's totally okay to change. Let's say I'm like, I wanna be blonde and I can go down my hair blonde or I wanna cut my hair short or I want braces to straighten my teeth. Yeah. That's okay, but yeah. we draw the line at fillers, yeah. surgery, Botox. Why is that? Yeah. You know? No, that's real. Yeah. I, I get that, 100%. I also think as a society, we need to take responsibility because we will tear down women for their natural bodies, but then we get mad at them for wanting mm -hmm. to change it. Yeah. yeah. Because the people that they do praise That's for so their natural weird. bodies for the longest time, it'd be the girl that literally looked like she had surgery. She has a natural flat stomach and naturally perky boobs, and it's like, oh, she's natural, round of applause. But how about the girl that has the opposite of that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of like you said, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Like as a, as women, I feel like that's the story of our lives because we're co constantly criticized. We have all these expectations on us, not even just physically, but like to get married, to have kids, to do this, to do that. And it's like, it's overwhelming. It is. It's so overwhelming. I had my first Getty image experience at 16. And again, I didn't have my breasts up. My boobs are pretty saggy. And I remember like they posted one of the interviews and all the comments were like, oh my God, her breasts are so saggy. Her yeah. breasts, imagine being 16 years old, a sophomore in high school and reading that about you. Like that's not normal. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know? especially like getting images I at think, 16. I like, think I should get a round of applause for not going crazy. Cause yeah. the, comments, yeah. they're the, cra the comments I got as such a young girl. <laughs> no, I, just saying, what you're saying. I just got really terrible comments as such a young girl. And I know a lot of people probably could have handled it. Yeah, no, 100%. No, I, I, I remember I was bullied so bad in school. I came home one day, this is when AIM was first a thing. My bullies came on my AIM. Yes, my at name was thicker than a snicker. Yeah. And um, started that. trying to bully me on AIM and I freaked out, logged out and literally didn't go on AIM like for months and months and months. I had, I was able to do that. Nas, not only was she being bullied, she was being bullied on a high, 
like status platform on social media and she couldn't log off because it was her career mm -hmm. and she was 16 years old yeah. like that's that's a lot to deal with it was so but people honestly, need to like understand the i don't of that. i don't like to complain about it because i think our lives as influencers and content creators, we get so many more pros over yes, cons. I'm like, if I, I have to deal with some hate comments here or there yeah. to do what I love, mm -hmm. that's fine. But it's important yeah. that everyone knows, and especially our our supporters, people behind the camera, and people that don't support yeah. us. Like, it's important that you know all this. It's not all rainbows Peaches and butterflies. And cream. Yeah. Um, okay, someone asked, I wanted to touch on this when I uh, talked about Botox and fillers. Someone said, you talk so much about confidence and loving your body, but then you get Botox and fillers. Um, I do talk about confidence loving my body because I f love my body! Um, I love my face. <laughs> I'm gonna bleep that out, don't worry. I, um, I love my face. I love my face before fillers. I love my face before Botox. Like I said, Botox doesn't really like change my face. Can you put your baby picture up? Like she was literally a star. Like a star is born. <laughs> Literally. Here's my baby picture. No, literally. Regardless of anything you were to get done, you've always been beautiful as fuck. Like, Thank you, Nas. all three of us. Yeah, all three of us are. I've been, honestly, no. Pause. Here's Javi's baby picture. Javi was the cutest baby ever. Oh, I see. And yeah, she's, well, you can watch this video back. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, you might as well put my baby picture. Yeah, sure. Okay, oh, yes. No, I was going to say. All of our baby pictures. Okay, all of our baby pictures. Um, we all were gorgeous babies. Everyone's beautiful as a baby, let's right. be honest. Um, but definitely, you know, we we have been naturally blessed. Um, to me, Botox, I, I didn't get filler for the longest time. Like why I was going back and forth was cause like, I love everything about me. Like I love my lips so much, but like, I would love they have like a little more puck or like a little, you know? Um, I've also always been with men that had very, very big lips. I'm really attracted to lips. I always have been. So like, it'll help me have a little more, you know? Um, a little more judge when we kiss. So yeah, I'm so happy with my decision. I love myself just as much as I did before. And yeah, I don't really see how the two relate, honestly, in my humble opinion. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, for me. We were all three doing our thing way before we got anything. Yeah. Else. So yeah. also I feel like you can just want to do something. Yeah. Like just because because you want you to. want to, yeah. Uh, it doesn't need to correlate to confidence and feeling insecure. And I that's right. also why I feel indifferent about surgery because people can just do it because they have free will and they can just fucking do it yeah that's because they want to do it um so and it's also like none of your business to know why you know <laughs> that's like kind of what i was saying with Nas. like that's like how i feel yeah okay a couple more questions that we're gonna end this is a big one i want to talk about um that kind of leads to more someone said is it common for plus size models to get chin uh lipo fat dissolving injection blah, blah, blah all that stuff um, I think this is important to talk about for a couple of reasons. One, I would say I do think plastic surgery is fairly common with plus size models. And it was something I actually got really discouraged by when I first started modeling because I think on a plus size body, it's a little, little bit harder to tell when people get surgery, lipo, et cetera. And I was struggling because the other women that I was in the industry with when I first started in like 2017, 18, were booking more jobs than me because um, there were a couple models in particular that had um, the thigh lift. The thigh lift was like a big one. Um, not so much tummy tucks because you can really tell those like with the belly button, but a lot of lipo, um, a lot of like uh, uh, boob jobs and stuff like that. And it was hard because here I am competing with these women that like don't have loose skin, don't have cellulite anymore because they their legs have been lifted. Um, you know, and a, a lot of different things like that. And I, I found it discouraging because there's a part of me that really wants to, there's so much more I wanna see in the modeling aspect and in the fashion realm. I wanna see saggy skin. I wanna see cellulite. I wanna see imperfection in non airbrushed bodies. And I always felt like my body was so airbrushed because I had what these people saw as imperfections. Um, and I was competing with, you know, other women that had, that I, that I think had felt the same way as me. So they changed their body to fit in instead of like being a rebel, which is like how I've always been. I've always really wanted to kind of rebel against that. Um, so I don't know. I think the, the, again, gray area, I, I struggle a little bit more. I think sometimes with plus size women getting plastic surgery, um, because there's so, there's so much pit, pitted against us already. I want to see us win with how our bodies look. Whether, you know, whether you lose weight, gain weight, like me, you have saggy skin, you have tight skin, whatever the case may be. I would love to see us just win without, without. But what if they want to get it? <laughs> 
Yeah, no, I know, and that's the gray area. Um, if you want to get it done, obviously, like again, we should be able to. This is where I, you know, I'm giving you like yeah. just my honest thoughts off the top of my head, which I always do with you guys. It's a double-edged sword. It's a goes, double-edged goes sword because ways, yeah. I want you to be able to do whatever. I definitely don't want this newfound industry of being a plus-size model to push people in a certain direction because of like what's happening to our bodies, being airbrushed, being, you know, made to be smaller, to have the hourglass shape, you know, you fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. I think it's a bit different than being an individual and getting plastic surgery for yourself compared to being a part of a group that's just now taking off, that has never been deemed perfect, okay, acceptable, lovable, worthy, but now, it's okay if you don't have cellulite and if you have an hourglass body and if you have X, Y, Z. I think that's where, you get what I'm saying? Like that's okay. where, you know, but again, who am I to monitor someone's body? Mm -hmm. Like do what you yeah. want. I think also, you know, models they hear from their agencies, managers, agents, like you should look like this. You should get this Ooh, done. This, should, yes. this might help you in yes. your career. So you have that pressure of thinking like, oh my God, if I look a certain way, it's going to help me book more campaigns, yes. book more jobs. And there were a lot I of things. That's going one of the reasons that. that I'm, I'm very happy at how stubborn I am. Shout out that for <laughs> Taurus placements, yes. because no matter how much someone tells me to do something, I'm not going to do it unless I want to. Mm, yeah. And I feel like we're all like, this yeah, is yeah. very like not plastic surgery, but with my tattoos, like I had one brand cover my tattoos and I felt so not like myself and i told my agent i was like i don't want to work with anybody who wants she to just turned down tattoos. another deal a huge deal that yeah none of y'all would have turned down i'm gonna be honest really? javi has yeah. so much integrity and i told her she inspires me so much she just turned down a massive deal sorry i'm yeah. putting your bow out there but i just need to say it because yeah we'll talk about that later <laughs> <laughs> she um turned this deal down that like it yeah. went against who she was they wanted to yeah. cover her tattoos not, not, like, not only that but like if in my core being i don't feel 100 percent good about it something's telling like my gut instinct is so on point yeah. if something is like a hair off i'm gonna say no yeah. because there's a reason why and i don't want to find out yeah like you know in the worst way possible yeah, yeah. um so just because you know, they're bringing the bag like it's not worth it no it's not and yeah. to me like i'm 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 abundant baby yes. like i'm i'm always thinking about that so yeah. i'm never gonna have somebody control my mindset or um just what i think about myself solely based off of looks yeah. and societal norms I can't imagine being told. I if I was told to get any of my work done, I'd be yeah. like, oh no, I don't want it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so you're not we're gonna all, tell what to we're do all like, so stubborn. Like, I, I feel like literally. we're all like that. Okay. I don't know how to talk about this video, but what are you guys' thoughts um, with the Victoria's Secret fashion show coming back? I know, I've literally never seen Same. it. Same. Really? I saw it once watched. in high school because everyone would watch it. Um, I don't know. I've it's so hard with these it. brands that like do all these horrific things and then they like scoop the insides out, which is good getting rid of CEOs, getting new, you know, heads of social and all that. Like I've done that a lot with Abercrombie working with them, which was so triggering at first. Victoria's Secret really rubbed me wrong though. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I have not worked with them or bought anything from them. I mean I've never been able to buy anything from them, let's be quite clear. But um I don't know. I feel like the Victoria fashion show has been so detrimental. Really? Like yeah. so detrimental. Yeah, I remember in high school, the only time I've seen it, all these girls would sit around and just like watch it. And like, I could see in their eyes that they were like, I wanna be like this, I yeah. wanna look like this. And mm -hmm. it was just so unattainable. Can I share my two cents on yes, that? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so I the love way the posing I see, yes. Okay, so the way I see it is these models, this is their career. Mm -hmm. It is their job to look the way that they do. So their mm -hmm. whole lives are centered around their bodies looking that way. Mm -hmm. And I think it's unfair to look at women who are shaped like that or look like that and say they're not real women. Because I have Absolutely. plenty of friends yeah. who are tall and slim, yeah, and they have that body shape naturally. No, so absolutely. I, 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 you know, I don't even think about that when I think about the Victoria's Secret show. I think about the brand itself and what the yeah. former CEO had said. Yeah, how certain people don't fit the fantasy. Yeah, so that's that's what I think about. Um, the, and my my opinion on the brand is solely based off that because I do agree with that as well. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I'm no one to tell you know who's a real woman who's not you yeah. know i would um, never say that they're, yeah. they're not real women for sure yeah. i think my opinion is off of for sure what the ceo said but also they are real women we are real women mm -hmm. why can't all women be shown yeah 
You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's so many people, ugh, my boobs, there's so many people in our industry being plus size models that are paid to look the way they look. Why can't they be a part of it as well? Just like the Savage Show. I mean, you look yeah. at the Savage Show, they are living proof that like, you can do this. That's why I love Savage. I, I respect anyone that is a pioneer. They're not afraid to change the norm. They're not afraid, uh, afraid to think outside the box or step outside yeah. the box. I think that's my only problem. I don't judge the women that are walking. I judge the lack of women that are walking. Yeah. Like why why is there not more inclusion? You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. I but also, also don't like it. like the 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 it's like they had a change of heart because they know how much business they're losing by yeah. saying these certain things. And I, I've gotten emails all the time, but I always yeah. decline Same. it because I'm like, think, like, you can't just change, change your mind like that. You know, it's what like it's what? a new, again, it's like all new people. I think we should applaud the rebrand. It's kind of like we cancel, like canceling a person and yeah. they mm -hmm. change. changes. Yeah, you know? no, I can I, agree with the, I, the, with the rebrand, but I feel like a lot of brands will do one little thing everyone goes crazy about it like oh my god they're finally including us and, and then, then they go back yeah they were performative, performative. They, it's they, they, performative. Don't, they don't really stick to what they think they yeah. should be doing yeah. i'm excited to see i'm not gonna watch the show because i don't really watch shows anyway but i'm excited to see the media coverage afterwards and yeah. if they actually do anything Plus different that is that is to me i'm not someone that like I'm not, they have you need to prove now. yourself. You know what I mean? I'm not yeah. just gonna be like, oh, good job. You made all these mm -hmm. changes. I wanna, and to me, that's what Abercrombie did. I, I felt like they proved themselves yeah. by the time I worked with yeah. them. The and now, guy. yeah, and now nice. like literally 90% of my jeans are from Abercrombie. Sweet. They fit my body better than some of these plus size brands. And like, I really yeah. feel like they've dedicated time to the size, to the fit. Yeah. Like there's still so much more they could do. Don't get me wrong. But to me, like yeah, it's a it's start and I appreciate yeah. the rebrand. I appreciate the dedication and the proving of themselves. So Victoria's Secret, like if they really expanded their sizes and I could fit their clothes and they're doing a great job, like would I? Yeah, maybe, I think we'll they see. they have. Have you been in their store recently? No, they I don't have, ever go in their they store. They have plus size mannequins in there. Okay, yeah. well that's good. They're making That's good. I want to see, yeah, that it's not performative. I want to see yeah. it's like here to stay. But I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not opposed to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel like that's a good way to end our video. I appreciated Quick that question. Side note. Yes. <laughs> and I think, question. <laughs> no, I think it's important to see too. Like we all can have the reason I love our relationship. We all have varying opinions. We all talk about things. I know I've completely opened Naz's mind to the perspective of a plus size woman. Mm -hmm. She's opened my mind to a straight size but curvy woman with plastic surgeries perspective. And that's a beautiful thing about life. It's like we can coexist. We can agree to disagree, but we have that like foundational, like similar foundational beliefs, which I think is really important. Yeah. I'm so glad we were able to do this I video. I love you so you much. You definitely, Danny has taught me a lot, you guys. Just because there's so many that. things you just don't even think about. Yeah. Like, I was so privileged to not even know what it's like to walk into a store and not see my size. Yeah. I couldn't even imagine what that feels like. Yeah. Like, that's terrible. Yeah. It is. It's and, like, awesome. I'm wearing large, extra large. Yeah. I'm wearing the biggest size yeah. in brands. That's not okay. Yeah. Like, we talk about Zara a lot. Naz will be like, I wear, like, the biggest size in Zara. Like, and obviously, she should not be fitting the biggest size in Zara. Like, there's a problem there. So, like, it's good to have those discussions. And um, as plus size people, it sucks that it's, like, the burden we have to bear. But it's important to communicate with those around you to get them to understand and, like, you know, just be aware that we need more support. We need more allyship. We need more inclusion all the way across the board. Um, but this was not just about plus size people. I'm glad we were able to make this video about curvy girls, whether you're straight size curvy, plus size curvy, um, and our experiences with plastic surgery, our thoughts, and all that beautiful stuff. Obviously, like always, my comment section is an open forum, so comment your thoughts, questions, belief. Obviously, keep everything positive. We want all love and support here. That's what the Confidence Crew is about. And that's a perfect segue into you hitting that big juice red button, screaming, subscribe me below, because it's time. You watch this whole video, you're confident that decision by now, I'm sure, and you Want to be a part of the crew so make sure you guys join that turn your notification bell so you're notified every time i upload give this video a thumbs up we love you make sure you follow Nas and hobby if you have not already and we're always taking suggestions for this curvy girls answer questions segment so make sure you comment your ideas below and if you guys want to see Nas back on the channel we're always open to that we should do like um a bikini haul together or oh, something like that for summer yeah, yeah i feel like that. that'd be really fun uh -huh. okay love you guys so much any final words we love you. <laughs> you are your own beauty standard. Period. Love you guys so much. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> what? What happened? I didn't see you. I'm like, this is the kiss. Love you guys. Love.